Hello, welcome to Mickey Dicky. Learn as engineer, teach as champion. First of all, I would like to thank my family for their continuous support and encouragement of creating these kinds of technical videos in public domain. And I would like to thank my mentor, Professor R. Surendran from Government College of Technology, Kambato, for igniting me a spark of creating these kinds of technical videos in public domain. And I would like to thank Almighty my God for my good health and broad mind. And I would like to thank my friends, followers, my dear students and subscribers for their continuous support. So today's topic of interest is loss of thermodynamics. So in this class, I would like to bring your kind notice that we have a four laws of thermodynamics starting from first law, second law and zeroth law after that the third law. You have to notice this order first we defined first law. Joule's experiment defined first law and second it is the second law of thermodynamics so it talks about entropy in first law they found internal energy and second law they found entropy and after finding these things we know that entropy the change in entropy is the function of uh, so T ds is equal to dq therefore uh, ds is equal to dq by t so this relationship was found by means of the third law because this T is called temperature in th third one is the zeroth law third law is the zeroth law they found the term called temperature after finding these three laws they found a third law it deals with absolute entropy absolute entropy or the absolute temperature whatever we can say absolute zero temperature absolute zero temperature or absolute entropy so these are the outcomes of uh, the four laws of thermodynamics so in detail i would like to give in this video very crispy points about this laws of thermodynamics first the zeroth law of thermodynamics zeroth law deals with the thermal equilibrium zeroth law deals with the thermal equilibrium and the outcome of the zeroth law is the temperature the temperature measuring device is we know that the thermometer as we know that if there is a three bodies if i say this is A, this is B, this is C. If A and C are thermally equilibrium to each other and B and C are thermally equilibrium to each other, so this is the first case, this is the second case, then it, it, it should found that it is found to be A and B are also be thermally equilibrium, so also be thermally equilibrium then the then only the zero law is valid so whenever we go to the hospital if they are measuring temperature the zero law of thermodynamics is being used so it is a live law zero law is the exact live law it is applicable to everywhere next one is the first law of thermodynamics first law deals with the conservation of energy the input energy should be output input energy should be output so this is the perpetual motion machine one it violates the first law of thermodynamics we know that all the input is not at all possible to come as an output where it goes so the input energy is equal to internal energy plus work done so this internal energy is the outcome of the first law so internal energy is the outcome of the first law for your information okay next is the second law 
second law deals with a two statements one is kelvin plank kelvin plank and second one is class s yes. this uh, what it says kelvin plank statement is heat into work heat is converted into work and here the heat is transferred from low and en low energy to high energy so low energy to high energy with the aids with the aids of some devices only the Kel uh, class s statement is been possible so the pmm 2 which violates the second law of thermodynamics what it says heat can be transferred from lower energy higher energy to lower energy or lower energy to higher energy without aids can be possible it is said by perpetual motion machine 2 so it violates second law of thermodynamics the outcome of the second law of thermodynamics is the entropy entropy is nothing but the quality of heat transfer the quality of heat content we can say or degree of randomness or degree of disorderness is called the entropy so this you have to know this you have to know very better for finding uh, heat transfer or heat conduction from uh, one place to another place or one substance to another substance the second law of thermodynamics is very very important since we are all dealing with heat and it gives the quality of heat content or quality of heat transfer it will give next a third law of thermodynamics deals with absolute entropy what it says at absolute temperature at absolute temperature means 0 degree Kelvin that is uh, minus 273 degree Celsius minus 273 degree Celsius there is no temperature where the entropy absolute entropy that is entropy is equal to 0 change in entropy is equal to 0 so that is the uh, third law of thermodynamics at absolute temperature the entropy is 0 the quality of heat content is 0 so that is the understanding about the third law of thermodynamics next we are going to discuss about the different types of the processes for the reversible and irreversible process the first law of thermodynamics equation is equal to dq is equal to du plus dw it is for reversible and irreversible process if it is a closed system then dq is equal to du plus pdv so that is for reversible and irreversible for the closed system where for the uh, reversible process only instead of q we can say tds that is equal to du plus pdv okay and next i am going to discuss about the entropy enthalpy and internal energy as i said earlier the entropy is the quality of heat content whereas enthalpy is the quantity of heat content so you have to notice this quantity of heat content in open system is called enthalpy where quantity of heat content in closed system is called internal energy okay so this you have to make it clear entropy means quality enthalpy and internal energy means quantity quantity if quantity in open system quantity of heat content in open system it is said to be an enthalpy and the quantity of heat content in closed system is called internal energy next i am going to discuss about the real and ideal gases for the real gas for the real gas entropy is the function of pressure and temperature enthalpy is the function of pressure and temperature change in internal energy is the function of volume and temperature whereas for the ideal gas enthalpy enthalpy is the function of temperature internal energy is the function of temperature if it is a reversible heat is also the function of temperature heat is also the function of temperature what it means if temperature changes then internal energy changes or enthalpy changes or heat 
changes for an ideal gas for the real gas it is different next is a kelvin planck statement states that the heat content is equal to work plus heat loss therefore heat supplied is equal to heat supplied is equal to work done plus heat loss that is uh, w plus del u next we are going to discuss about some of the measuring instruments measuring devices which follows these four laws first one mercury in glass it is a volume it uh, the it measures volume thermocouple induced electric voltage thermistor electrical resistance constant volume gas is used for measuring pressure constant pressure gas is used for measuring volume high ra rarefied gas it is called as a continuum voltage if we change in voltage we can measure temperature if change in current we can measure heat flow if there is a resistance we can measure thermal resistance if there is the use of the capacitance we can measure thermal capacity so with this i'm going to close the today's session about the laws of thermodynamics thank you thank you for patient watching and patient listening if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and i will put in another video for clarifying your doubts thank you thank you once again